is it going everybody? My name is Silver and welcome back to the randomized soul... Why did I say soul silver, bro? I've literally been playing this Nuzlocke for like a few months. The Pokemon Sapphire Randomizer at Nuzlocke. Um, it has been a fair while, as is my usual cadence with these episodes. <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah, so when we last left off, we had gotten to Duford Town. Um... Yeah, we got encounters in Duford. I believe we were about to do 106, were we? Bug. Oh well, let's have a look. Let's do our quick little team recap as is custom. Just by the way, everybody, make sure to like the video and leave a comment down below with a name for my Pokemon. If I name my Pokemon after my lovely viewers, I will have a deeper emotional attachment to them and when they inevitably die, it will be all the more devastating. So please give me names. If you do not give me a name, I will simply just use your comment and your YouTube username as a Pokemon name. Please, I beg you, even if you are a person who watches this series frequently and you've already already given me a name. Just give me another name. I, I literally just need some names. So anyways, we have Akaza, the Medicham, who is immune to 90% of things in this game. He has Wonder Guard. That is awesome. Uh, very cool. We have Tox the Nidorino, who is pretty mid, but um, uh, I'm going to need a Moonstone soon. He might kind of pop off as a Nidoking, King, but he does have pure power, which is a pretty insane ability. Yeah, that's pretty salty. We have Sily the Dratini, who has garbage moves. I taught him Metal Claw, at least. Uh, I gave him the XP share so that he will maybe evolve one day. Uh, th that'd be nice. God, I think Dratini evolves into Dragonair like freaking 34 or something. We have Sily the Snubble, who is gonna be gone when I get something better, let me tell ya. Shell armor. He, he stole a Kabuto's shell. And we have Midori the Celebi, who is the hard carry with Aurora Beam that does a bonkers amount of damage. And honestly, I'm not even going to talk about Rock Bro because I don't want to talk about Rock Bro. He's, he's made of stones, and you know what? He's doing his best, but his best is garbage. Anyways, guys, um... I can't remember if we got an encounter at Route 106. Was... Yeah, let me, let me go back to my menu here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where did I catch you, you sussy little idiot? Rusturf Tunnel. Hmm. Um, so I'm fairly confident. We went over here to Route 107, and I killed it, whatever it was. Couldn't tell you. I probably should go back and watch the previous episode, shouldn't I? 106. Well, instead of making a mistake and uh, having to go over it in my recording, you know what we're going to do? We're going to sail back to... Verdon Rusburber mm, mm, the the town right before my hometown. You know what I'm talking about. There's a patch of water there that I can use my old rod on and get in and count to. Thank you very much. I wonder how many Pokeballs I even have. Oh, Mr. Briny, you lovely, lovely old man. Alright. Uh ten Pokeballs. Eh, I think we should be fine. Alright, onwards to victory. I'm going to go this way and avoid the grass. Alright, Petalburg City. This is, yep. Yeah. Do we want to go this patch of water? Or this patch of water? Ooh. Um... I think this one's calling to me, honestly. I, I couldn't tell you why. Alright, how do I... Fishing rod. D -d 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 -d. There we go. Alright, baby. Give me something good. Not even a nibble. How dare you. Uh, this is gonna get pretty tedious. Can I... Can I register... 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 I don't know what my select button is. It's not that. Not any of those. Uh, okay. I guess I don't, uh, well, C, V, B, space. Don't make me go to my controls, doggy. Please don't make me go to my controls. Oh, for crying out loud. <clears throat> okay, I'll be honest. I couldn't find a settings tab anywhere. Whatever. We're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. And by that I mean going into my bag and pressing close bag immediately. Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll 
I'll see you guys in five minutes when I freaking catch something. Hmm. Uh, this reminds me of the days of grinding to catch a Phoebus. Uh, back in my day, uh, near Fortree City, there is a patch of water. It's always raining there, or I think there's a very high percentage for it to be pretty much always raining there. Um, you can only catch a Phoebus in literally one tile in this river, and it's a very difficult encounter. Um, it's this specific tile somewhere, it's very, very hard. So that is a level 9 Parasect. That is actually a bit on the strong side. Um, confusion is gonna be super effective, but come on, bro, you're, you're a, you're a pretty tanky looking dude. Wait. Isn't Paris like bug poison? Okay, well, I guess it's just bug. Whatever. Get confused, idiot. Oh my god, you're so confused. Poison powder, stun powder, that's gonna be good for catching things. We like that a lot. Okay. You're doing great, Akaza. He is not immune to status moves, unfortunately. They are able to get through my bullshit ability. Hmm. We might go for a little bit of a longer episode today, guys. I have gotten some feedback before, and I've heard that a longer episode is a little bit more appreciated. Um, I, I tend to try and make the episodes more digestible, like 15, 20 minutes, but... We might go for a bit of a bit of, bit of, bit of a decent one today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I appreciate you if you watched my previous video that I uploaded today. My trip to hospital was a good time. Just kidding, it was not. Um, I conveniently had a doctor's appointment today. It was about my ear infection, which is in fact my other ear. Whatever. Um, what am I gonna call this parasect? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna call this Parasect Frickin' Buggo. All in capitals. Buggo. Nice. Please leave me names in the comment section. Once again, even in. Oh, poison. I am fairly certain that you just straight up die from poison in this generation, so I need to be very careful of that. Very unhinged. Um, I've gotten onto three separate tangents. Um, leave me a comment. Um, also a hospital trip, yeah. Uh, that was all good. Um, the ablation, I talked to my doctor. I was like, hey, I'm here for my, uh, talking about my, you know, talking about my ear, that's what this appointment was. Guess what happened on Wednesday. Or Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Sturdy negates one hit KO attacks. Bug rats. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, welcome to the team, buddy. Um, you're rock bro. You're freaking so out of here, bro. Oh my god. But yeah, so... Went to hospital Saturday night at about 3 o'clock. Um, I took my medication at about 11 o'clock. And uh, about half an hour later, I realized my AF was not going away. Or I, I was starting to go into atrial fibrillation or a regular heartbeat, and I was like, huh, that shouldn't be happening if I've taken my medication. Um, I thought I was able to control it, and I thought I had a handle on it, but I quickly realized that I did not, and I just decided to call an ambulance. Um, when I was in the hospital, they, I had some serious head spins and dizziness, and uh, it turns out that the head spins and the weird feeling that I get, that's my heart stopping for about a second. So, uh, goddamn. So that's very cool. Um, they told me that they didn't really like that at all, so I was scheduled for an ablation anyway, so they're like, well, we're gonna do that tomorrow, dog," and I'm like... So I managed to avoid uh, waiting another two months for that. So that was cool. Um, yeah, so it all went off pretty well. They and couldn't actually do it on Monday, so they pushed it forward, or they pushed it backwards, rather, to Tuesday. And, um, yeah, spending an extra night in hospital, it is what it is. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go on ahead, um, I'm just gonna bring in... If I already got an account here, I will release the Pokémon, but whatever. YOLO! Yeah, so, uh, procedure went off without a hook. They knocked me out, I was gone, and bing bang boom, there we go. 
That is Dupes Claws, baby. That is literally the exact same Pokemon that we have. Reencounter. Get out of here. Thank you very much. Uh, if I encounter a Pokemon that is the exact same and or in the same evolutionary line, that is a reencounter. That is a fairly commonly used rule. Fudge, I need to pay attention to my fishing rod. Yeah. So anyways, that was all well and good, and it's all done. And told him, told my doctor all about it, so yeah, I'm gonna guess it. That's still a new around. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. Yep. Parasect has the same cry as Mewtwo. Fun little Gen 1 fact for ya. Hell. Alright. Enough chatting about my medical issues. Let's focus on the mons, shall we? This is my sweet... Nope, it's not a sweet one. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I am fairly certain that the old rod being the old rod, you are only able to get one type of Pokemon with it, which is normally a Magikarp. So we're gonna try a couple more times here. Uh, this might just be... Oh, hell yeah! A freaking Seedra dog? Nice! Get poison powdered, idiot. Smokescreen, we don't like that. Not my accuracy. Ah! Okay, I like Seedra. Kingdra is mad cool, actually. Um, Kingdra is very saucy. Smokescreen and leer. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully this guy has bubble beam or something. Nice critical buggo, let's go. What a guy. Um, it's probably a bit early for a Pokeball, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, Seedra. Seedra, Seedra, Seedra. You can replace Snubble. You can replace Snubble when you want to play nice, I suppose. It's not very effective. I'm a grass type, by the way. Um, if I scratch it and then the poison, that's gonna be too much damage, so... We're gonna go for another ball. Let's go. Uh, my favorite YouTuber, Mr. Fruit, has uh, recently been uploading his uh, latest Nuzlocke series. He's doing a Soul Link, which is something that I would like to do one day when I have the technology. Um, a Soul Link is essentially a Nuzlocke, but you have two players, and uh, each encounter you get is linked with that other player's Pokémon. So if your Pokémon dies, that Pokémon dies too, and there can't be any matching types in between pairs. So it's pretty interesting. Um, would be quite difficult to set up everything, and well, I guess just playing with someone uh, with their recording. I have no idea how you would capture that. But anyways, in honor of Mr. Fruit's series with his friend... Datto, we're going to call this Seedra Datto. Datto does Pokemon. Classic. Classic. Um, yeah, so, judging by the Pokemon that I have in the PC, uh, and the Pokemon that I have in my party, I think we can put two and two together, and we can probably say that I didn't get an encounter on that route. So, yeah. Welcome to the team Datto, the Seedra. Get the heck out of here, Schnubber. Uh, what was your ability again? Yeah, shell armor. Shell armor, if you will. Okay, so we got some... <clears throat> we got some... We got some heat in the PC, let me tell you. Oh, we got some backups. Oh yeah, baby. Nice. So then, let us continue forward on our journey. I think we're gonna level up talks a little bit, because his ability is actually kind of heat, so... Yeah. Do I have any... Cut. Can anyone... Can any of my... In, in HMO1 can't be held. Don't make me HMO1, you. Um... Is this like a freaking ice-type move or something? Or steel? Does steel even exist in this generation? Knowing my luck, cut is steel-type. Okay, um... Literally, what type could that be for none of my team to be able to learn it? Wow. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, we're going to continue on our way then. And uh, let's go fight this fisherman. What 
do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I can't just go. This bit's in the ocean, dude. It's fine. Everybody does it. Especially fish. Fisherman on with his female name. My god. I'm gonna double kick your noodle, dude. There's nothing you can do about it. Critical, baby. Let's go, Tox. That's pretty saucy. So I just have a... My attack stat is just generically higher. I, I don't really know how that ability works. I might have to look that up on Siri P. There are one-stop shop for everything Pokemon. Except it's not a shop. It's a website. Um, I've, I feel like I've mentioned this before. Siri P is a fairly popular Pokemon website. that has literally all the information you could ever want on Pokemon. Ever. And it's what I always use. <clears throat> good, uh, good website. Good website. Let's fight this idiot as well. Remember kids, stay hydrated. Uh, shout out to my boy, my name is Bife, for this sexy, uh, advanced GG bottle. God. If only I was a slightly more popular YouTuber and I could get a sponsor. Sponsor? That'd be cool. I've considered, um, th there's, uh, there's the wallet that I use quite frequently, it's called an extra wallet. And I've considered messaging them, but, um, it's exceedingly unlikely for a small YouTuber like me to get a sponsorship like that, so, whatever. I suppose I could, I could try. I think they have some sort of, um, uh, companion program, I don't know what it's called. Maybe I could, uh, message Advanced GG, because it looks like they sponsor everyone. <laughs> I've only tried, like, their shaker is really cool, and all, and they offer, um, they offer, like, sort of powders that you put in your water that, um, increases electrolytes, hydrolytes, paralytes, more lights than your body could handle. Um, if you understand that reference, you're my favorite. Um, yeah, I tried a few flavors. I got this when I was in Canada, actually, and, um, yeah, there were... They, were, they didn't really do it for me, really. Well, some of the powders were pretty nice flavored, but there was a pink strawberry milkshake one that I tried, and it was recommended that you try it with milk. Uh, wouldn't recommend. Maybe a bit of ice cream would have made it a bit nicer, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, supposedly they, like, energize you. Energy! Maybe I could, um, they also had sleep formulas, which, um, you know, maybe I'll give that a go. Sleep formulas. That's, uh, that's another thing I've been dealing with since I got back from the hospital. Um, my leg is quite sore. Um, but, uh, it's, it's not bothering me that much. But yeah, I just haven't been getting much sleep since I got back. But it is what it is. Here you go, about to do. Who wants to be the HM slave? It lights up even the darkest caves, but to use it you need the gym badge. But also, this is a cave. Granite cave, baby. All right, that is another encounter. I'm gonna need to buy some more Pokeballs soon. Uh, booted up TM Flash. Mm. Mm. All right, Bucko. There you go, buddy. What a guy. Using all the status moves and his friggin' flashing dudes, just showing people his huge bug censored. Bug dip. You know what? Like, there, there's some... Yeah, until the badge is obtained. Parasect is actually a horrifying Pokemon when you think about it, because if you... There's a Paris, which is a little, you know, it's a little crab. Oh, it's got some mushrooms on its back. Whoa. And then it evolves into this with its dead eyes, and it's been taken over by the mushroom. I'm sure you may have heard of Cordyceps, which is a real-life fungus that turns bugs into zombies. It can even affect things, uh, big things, like tarantulas. So, pretty, pretty horrifying. Uh, that is a Ninjask. The fastest Pokémon in the game, if I'm not mistaken. He's fast, but does he have any offensive power? Ooh. Leech Life. Is it Leech Life a bug move? I'm bug crass. Am I retarded? What is Parashex typing? For crying out loud. Bug grass. 
Why is Leech Life super effective against me? That's a bug move. Wouldn't Grass counteract the... What do I know, dude? Buggo is already in battle. Yeah, I know, bro. I know, dog. I know. Um, let's use Sylee to wrap this sucker up. We're gonna wrap you up, good, brother. Oh no. He's getting horny for my Dratini. Oh god. Uh, let's go... Yeah, just use rap. Spit some mad rhymes at him, Sylee. I believe in you. Wah wah. That's not great damage, but that's what I was hoping for. Wah wah. Let's go for another rap. Man, the secondary damage on rap is literally one damage. You would crit, wouldn't you? You would crit. Sylee, you bloodthirsty monster. Okay, well, see you later, Ninjask. Deuces. What else could I have gotten in this cave? Oops, claws. We go again. Oh, well, that's a shame. That is a shame. Buggo is kind of weak, to be honest. Um, if you could just let me go, that'd be great. Thanks. The um, stat increase decrease animation in this game I actually really adore. I don't know why, just those arrows with the <laughs> that kind of that pattern looks really cool to me. Yeah, God, dude, I love everything about these games. Original Pokemon Sapphire, baby. Where I grew up, where I was born and raised, brother. God damn. Even if a Pokemon faces cat battle, it can still use a move learned from a hidden TM or HM. Yeah, dude. If a Pokemon has Rock Smash, you can just use its corpse to be like, Push, break that rock. I swear to God. Yep, that is in fact a thing. Alrighty. Um. Didn't. Yeah, you have an item that I wanted to take. An iron. I can sell those for mad money, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep. Boost the defense. No thanks. A silk scarf. I got a rare candy, that's pretty cool. Thunderstone, yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 HP. Uh, yeah, let's check our, let's check our items here. Fine potions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna sell that friggin' iron right away. There's no Pokemart in this town. You island bumpkins. Oh my god. All right, whatever. Well, let us um, save the game real quick, and we're gonna go into the gym. I'm fairly certain using the in-game saving does not do anything. But whatever. I, I have to go to my settings in my thing and go save state save. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Super? Duvers Gym's leader Broly is a Super Saiyan, and he goes. Hurr! Okay, I. I don't care. Oh, go. Okay, go for it. Now, using my big brain knowledge, because I played this game so much as a kid, I believe it's mainly to the right you want to go. Or maybe it's right and then towards the up? Hmm. But in any case, I wouldn't mind grinding some of these trainers and getting some XP. Geo, dude. I didn't switch out Buggo. That is unfortunate. I'm, I'm not sitting here and slashing you 18 times, dog. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, Dado also has pure power. That's awesome. I'm gonna bubble this idiot. You're gonna get bubble bodied. That's very... Okay, I've got two middle-stage decent Pokémon with pure power. I'm actually going to look up what that ability does. Is it just... Is it just, is it just a flat bonus to my attack, or like... Um, I'm gonna kill this Geodude and do that right away. Turns out pretty straightforward. The Pokémon's attack stat is doubled while in battle. That is... pretty... nice. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every trainer we defeat makes our dark vision go up. Turns us a little bit more into an elf. Or a... Uh... A lot of races in D&D have dark vision, I'm gonna be real with you. Um, well, I'm such a huge brain, 190 IQ, the gym leader's right here. Um, hmm. I did say I wanted to grind the trainers, but to be completely honest with you... Our team's looking all right, so whatever. 
I'm gonna throw out my boy Akaza. And as is tradition, I'm going to stand in front of the gym leader and save my game again. Alright, Broly. I've been churned to the rough ways of these parts and I've grown tough in the pitch back cleave. You wanna see me challenge? I'm also having a stroke, I think. My name's Broly. Leader Mallory. You've lied to me, that's not Aaron. That's... That is a fairly strong little side up you got there. But I'm willing to believe he doesn't have a dark or psychic type move. Hi, psychic. Dark. Psychic. Is dark even in this generation? Um, hello? Yeah, dark types were, yeah, dark and steel was introduced in Gen 2. So yeah, psychic. Dark. Am I crazy? Bug. Psychic Dark Bug. I'm willing to bet that this Psyduck does not have those types of moves, so I'm just going to go on ahead and confuse the heck out of you. Unless you use the table on me, that would be ultra cringe of you. Um. <clears throat> Come on, Psyduck. Don't be ultra cringe. <laughs> Wonder Guard, baby. Stupid. Oh, he got me with the freaking disabled. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so if the gym leader is at level, maybe I should have grinded a little bit, actually. Like, level 17. I didn't know if this guy was friggin' built like that, dude. God damn. Kyoken! That's... that is, um... I'm, I'm not a DBC fan, I'll be real with you. You bitch! Really? God damn, Psyduck. Sheesh. Yeah, get out of here. Confusion does hella more damage anyways. God damn it, Psyduck. How long does this able last? Like, a few turns? My guy. Really? I'm over it. I changed my speed up to times 4 instead of times 6, and that seems a little bit more manageable. A swinub. <clears throat> Let's go to Tox because double kick. Because double kick. Let's go, Nidorino. I'm not really sure if it's going to be worth evolving him. Well, I mean, I suppose Nido King is magnitudes stronger, but his ability would get re randomized, and there is a chance that it will become butts. Hmm. <clears throat> At least with uh, Datto, we don't need to worry about that, because it is a Seedra, and Kingdra doesn't exist in this game. So that's cool. You're not that guy, okay? You're not that guy, my dude. You can use this potion all you want. You sussy baka. The chances of getting frozen are so low. I guess they aren't that low. Well, let's see how your powdered snow go against goes against my immune dude. Stupid. Get outplayed. Idiot. Okay. And just like that, we're done. He was level 18, my god. Um yeah, I probably should have fought the rest of the gym leaders. Now that I've uh, now that I've beat the gym, can I go back and fight some of the trainers or no? I don't think that's a thing. Dang it. Whatever. Gym badge number two. Yeah. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades will pay you without question. And you'll be able to use the HM move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this techno machine too. TMO8. I bet it doesn't contain bulk up, you frickin' dummy. Okay, there was two trainers there. Man, I really just, I beelined to the gym. Using my huge big brain knowledge. I thought this gym was bigger. Huh. I'll be darned. Well, yeah, I knew it, I knew it was to the right and to the up, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Duford Town Gym. Get absolutely annihilated. <coughs> Cut, flash. 
My man gave me older sleuth. Negates the foe's efforts to heighten. There. <clears throat> no. I always wondered what Odor Sleuth does, because there are so many Pokemon that use that move. Well, thanks, Broly. You freaking nerd. Odor Sleuth. Wow. Love that. Alright then, everybody. Um, we're just going to fully finish everything in Duford Town, because that is what I wish to do. So we're going to go on ahead and go up to the cave and meet Sexy Steven, and see what he's up to. I don't care. Oh, she didn't jump. Hey, buddy. Go, Buggo! Use your flash attack! Takes off his mushroom and reveals the horrendous mass of Cordyceps fungus underneath. Mr. Mime. You think you're hot shit, Mr. Mime? I'm, I'm not sitting here and confusing you to death, I'll be real. Um, Akaza is only level 11. I really should be grinding some of these Pokemon, but like... I, I don't... I don't care. Shoal Shell. That's some... Um, you need a Shoal Shell and another item to craft a Shoal Bell, can't you? Dang it. Okay. A Shoal Bell is an item that periodically heals some of your HP every round. Would have been nice. There were some freaking spicy Pokemon in this cave, honestly. Um, and I got a freaking Shedinja that I killed. Sad face. Leave me be, Kabutops. You can't hurt me anyways, you absolute moron. Oh my god. Oh lord. Poor Jake, no! So this cave is much bigger than I remember, and I've been going for a little bit of time here. Uh, there were some mad Pokemon in here, by the way. Freydilly, uh, Torchic, and friggin' Kabutops. Good lord. Um, yeah, I'm very disappointed with my Ninjask encounter. Shiftry, brother. He's immune to- okay, well. Oh, that sucks. Understandable, have a nice day. Steven! That device you have there, it's a Pokenav. When trainers that have Pokenavs battle, it keeps a record of how things went, I think. Oh, pardon me, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rest tones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. I swear to God, if it's something terrible, Steven, I'm going to smack you in the face. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you would even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day, unlike me. <laughs> Spoilers. Isn't there supposed to be a big mural of Kyogre and Groundon in this cave? I suppose they added that in the remakes, but uh, yeah. Wild. Wild. Alright. Catch you later, Granite Cave. Keep on chum. Chum. Uh, I realize that it is a pretty straightforward um, thing to just. There was a goddamn Rayquaza in this cave, brother. Oh my god, that's going in the thumbnail. Um, I don't want to fight that. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh wait, I'm immune to 90% of moves. Good lord, can you imagine? I mean, I wouldn't have caught it. I would not have caught it, let's be real. Like, I have just base Pokeballs, but, um, sheesh. Looks like my man only knows Scary Face as well. <laughs> uh, Twister, okay. There's a freaking Rayquaza in this game. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if I had the God of the Sky in my party instead of a freaking Ninjask? Oh my lord. I would have gladly used every single Pokeball I had. Holy. Okay, well then everybody, with that devastating news, that cave was full of mad good Pokemon and I busted my encounter. That sucks. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways guys, uh, looks like we've been running for about 37 minutes, so it appears that my promise for this episode to be a bit longer, a bit longer, has been made true. 
I think that'll do it. If we're going any longer than 40, 50 minutes, I think that's probably too long. Um, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. Are you enjoying the Pokemon series? Would you like to see longer length episodes? Please give me a name for my Pokemon. For the love of God, leave a comment. Um, I will see you all in the next one. Bless your faces. And it, we will talk to... We'll talk to Briny in the next episode. Whatever, this has been long enough. I will see you all in the next one, my dudes. Bye!